The fourth generation version of Vauxhall's Combo LCV combines French engineering with the Griffin brand's extensive knowledge of what British businesses really want from a compact yet spacious commercial vehicle. That means clever technology, class-leading efficiency and very competitive practicality stats, including the option of a lengthier L2 body shape if you want it. The result, an International Van of the Year winner, could very well be your right-hand van. In the days before, vans borrowed car-like underpinnings. They certainly never used to be as comfortable to drive as this. A firm ride used to be a given with an LCV, courtesy of the stiff springs that were needed to uh, uh, carry those heavy payloads. This combo cargo, though, confines the LCV elements of its engineering to the places on the chassis where they're actually needed. As for engines, well, it's possible that this will be the last Vauxhall compact van with a power plant lineup that's primarily based around diesel power. It is appropriate then that this E Series combo features a state of the art 1.5 litre Turbo D unit uh, introduced initially in the range in 130 horsepower form before being also made available in 75 and 100 horsepower guises to replace the older tech 1.6 litre diesel power plant that was offered from launch. Uh, there's also a 1.2 litre three cylinder petrol option with either 110 or 130 horsepower. The most powerful diesel gets the option of the brand's new eight-speed quick shift auto gearbox that's a mandatory fitment though on the top petrol unit talking of transmission the shift quality of the manual box could be slicker but we have appreciated the improvements in highway refinement that the uh, PSA group engines deliver in this Vauxhall this time around and we also really like the optional permanent rear view camera system which can function as a rear view mirror and which improves passenger side visibility. Further peace of mind can come with the addition of the extra cost camera driven safety kit that's provided this time around and for those operators who need to deliver in places like slippery building sites, Vauxhall also provides the option of its clever IntelliGrip traction control system uh, for extra front wheel traction. The fourth generation E-Series version of this combo has a very different look to its predecessors and a slightly different design approach too. And we'll start outside where this nose section has been crafted to deliver what Vauxhall hopes is a robust appearance. Uh, the brand's usual prominent Griffin badge on the grille is flanked by chromed wings which flow into these angular headlamps that can be specified with a high beam assist system. All right, let's take a seat here at the wheel. Uh, now, Vauxhall has put its own stamp on this cabin with brand-specific design for the gear lever, the stalks off the steering column, uh, the instrument dials, the steering wheel, and the infotainment graphics. Um, everything's of much higher quality than it was in the previous generation model, and it has a more... Um, horizontally orientated architecture and also there are smarter materials on the dashboard on the center console and on the doors uh, there's a bit of extra optional high tech the optional permanent rear view camera for example uh, plus plusher versions also get this much more sophisticated center dash infotainment screen it's now eight inches in size uh, the seats are much improved too and there's plenty of cabin practicality and that's courtesy of 15 different storage compartments dotted around the cab. Time to focus on practicality. Now, as we've said elsewhere in this film, there are two combo cargo body shapes to consider. This standard 4.4 metre long standard length version and the lengthier 4.75 metre L2 variant, which has a proper long wheelbase platform so it can take significantly more inside. Even this standard length combo cargo model has a load area big enough to swallow a couple of these Euro pallets though, and that's thanks to a useful 1229 millimetres of width between the wheel arches and it can offer 3.3 cubic metres of carriage capacity and 1,817 mils of load space length. The bigger L2 version can increase those figures to 3.9 cubic metres and 2,167 mils of load space length. Uh, there's a minimum of uh, 1,236 mils of interior height. With both body shapes, you can extend the capacity by an extra half a cubic metre by using the clever Flex Cargo Modular Bench Seat Package, which is an important option with this fourth generation E-Series model. Now this will enable you to flatten the outer passenger seat into the floor and push through longer items into the cab. 
What else? Uh, well, payload capacity is rated at either fractionally above or fractionally below a tonne, which is class competitive. And the clever optional overload indicator can be fitted in the cargo bay to inform a combo cargo operator when the vehicle's maximum authorised payload has been exceeded. Um, as for efficiency, well, with the volume 100 horsepower diesel power plant that most combo van buyers will choose, uh, you're looking at, well, between 66 and 68 mpg on the combined cycle and somewhere between 109 and 112 grams per kilometre of CO2. There's a three-year, 60,000-mile warranty and there's Vauxhall's vast network of specialist LCV dealers to look after you. And in summary, well, you might see this model making too many headlines, but the reality is that it's one of the most complete vehicles the brand makes. Quietly concentrating on the things that really matter to operators, uh, to many it'll be invisible, just one of those fixtures of the urban environment that blend into the background. But then sometimes the very best designs have the very lowest impact. What's important is that this combo cargo does more than enough to be spotted by the people who count. People who will find this Vauxhall very difficult to ignore in their search for a compact van. Job done.